Hey, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Uh, my name is Jamal and this is my girlfriend, Michaela. Uh, we wanted to make a video for you guys, uh, just kind of explaining my tweet two days ago and giving you guys updates on Wanda and Lonnie and maybe even just our lives all together. Um, this is a super tough time for everybody involved, me, Jamal, Wanda, literally anybody who has been affected by the Thanksgiving story. So we know how important it is to get information out. And this is gonna be our only update or info that we're giving out just because this is a super sensitive situation, um, especially for Wanda, she's at home alone while Lonnie's in the hospital with both pneumonia and COVID-19. So we're respecting her comfort, um, the whole entire situation. So. This is really where you're going to get your information from. Yeah, of course, uh, I will post a couple of tweets updating you guys on how Lonnie's doing and Wanda and uh, everyone in the next couple of days. But for right now, we don't want to reach out to newscasts or anything because I don't want it to seem like that kind of situation, that kind of audience. I yeah. just want to give you guys what we have and go with it. Yeah, so for all the news, um, all the news reporters reaching out to Jamal, we're not really, or not, we're not going that route this time. Yeah, I'm sorry. I yeah. will, I will see you guys on Thanksgiving, but not, not today or this week. Um, so to get right into it, like she said, uh, Lonnie is in the hospital, um, he cannot have visitors currently because of, of course, COVID-19 and uh, pneumonia on top of that. I do know that he has a cell phone and uh, we're able to talk to him and uh, Wanda has been calling him and texting him and everything. And of course, she told me that he's seen our tweet and all the comments and everything that you guys are making and he's in love with it. So thank you for all the love and support that you guys are giving him. Um, yeah, and like you said, he can't have visitors so Wanda's she's on the outside like she can't even enjoy this time with him she can't even be there for him so it's really important to him that everybody's sending all that love and support and all like letting him know that he's in your prayers like this is it's a really hard situation and I I don't wish this on anybody like the if Jamal is in the hospital. I don't know what I would do if I couldn't see him. So just imagine being in her shoes. Like this is super, super scary and super serious. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna be honest. I've been texting her uh, for the past couple of days, and she is really scared. Uh, I know that Lonnie is really scared, but I told them both that they're both strong and that. Uh, they're gonna pull through with this and I just need you guys wishes and prayers to help them do it. Um, let's jump into COVID-19 for any updates that you guys want or need. We'll uh, talk about our lives first. Okay, let's talk about our <laughs> lives first, you right? Yeah, so just like our, our take on this. Um, at first, I didn't think this was serious at all like when it was over in china i didn't think i never thought that it would actually reach over here and impact us the way it is impacting i guess the very first time like it really set in was when my job handed us papers and sent us emails telling us that some of us are going to be laid off some of us are temporarily laid off and i'm i think my last day was just over two weeks ago and that's when they told me that the restaurant that I work at is going to be closed for at least eight weeks so and now it, it looks like it's going to be further in some May but like that that's scary especially for the people at my job that have families that they need to support and luckily I have Jamal and he's still working but just for those people it's even that like I never thought it would get to that point. Yeah, um, when it first came out, uh, I was scared. I'm not gonna lie. Um, 
I, I still am. I look up the, the numbers. I look up everything to do with the coronavirus. Every day. Every single day. Every night she's trying to sleep. I'm still on my phone looking it up. Yeah. Um, it's just all scary. It, it impact a lot of people in our family and a lot of friends and everything. Uh, I am grateful to know that my job does not plan on shutting down. And I am still getting an income. I'm still I still have a a good income coming in right now. Um, it it has impacted my job. Uh, people have stopped buying cars. There, there's been days where I've had two customers, like in the whole store. There's been days where they even sent us home. Like right now, I got sent home, and my department is kind of chilling out for a little bit just to see if we can get back in and selling cars again so yeah yeah like this is just so it's really scary and the way that arizona's handling it it doesn't look like it's going to be getting better anytime soon like people really aren't taking this serious um for everybody who isn't aware of arizona's situation right now um our governor, Doug Ducey, he... Ordered the stay-at-home. Yeah, he made a stay-at-home order. So, it doesn't sound as... Bad as, bad, bad as, as it really is. Yeah, so everything that's essential is still open. All the grocery stores, um, Target, Walmart. Salons. Salons, yeah, barber shops. Those shouldn't be open right now. It's bit, like... We should be locked down on this way more because I'm still going on Snapchat. I'm still going on Instagram and Twitter and seeing all these people like partying together and drinking together and stuff like yeah. that's how it that's how it's spread. I I do understand the normal the normal walk in the park or the normal hike or something yeah. just to get out the house because of course this can be depressing just sitting in the room all day and everything cabin fever is real so i do understand that but it, it gets to a point where you're if you're just hanging out inviting friends over trying to party and everything then it's that's just too much we yeah. need to take this more serious it's, because it's impacting everyone more and more by the day and it's just bad. Yeah, and Juan and Lonnie are the first people we know that have actually contracted it. Um, Wanda and Lonnie, they're good people. You guys see that every year on Thanksgiving. Uh, we made our videos with them. We go to dinner with them. We talk with them, everything. And they're the last people that anyone would wish any harm on anything on. So I, I just want you guys to take this situation more serious than you have been and if you have been taking it serious then great thank you uh you're making a big impact bigger than you think uh, it might look fun that your friends or your family and everything are out with their friends drinking and having fun and everything but it's it has to stop i'm sorry yeah it really does and for everybody who thinks this isn't as serious as it is um, we're going to link a video in our description box explaining how this virus affects your body and how it actually gets so serious. So please, I know most of you have the time to watch because we're supposed to be quarantining and you could use something to take up at least 30 minutes of your day because this video is 30 minutes long. But please, if you take anything away from this video, just be careful be respectful, and stop spreading the virus. Yeah. Um, two days ago when I did post on Twitter, uh, that was not the moment that I found out. I believe I posted at about 2 p.m. and I found out at about 9 a.m. Uh, I honestly didn't feel like it was right. I, did, I honestly didn't know if I felt like it was right or wrong to post that information on Twitter, but I needed you guys to know that this virus is serious. Like it, it's impacting lives and everything. And I'm texting Wanda right now, and all she asked for was you guys' prayers and to keep her family and Lonnie and her in your heads and in your minds and in your prayers, just to keep them going some days because the little effort that you give might not seem big to you, but it's big to them. Trust me. So that's all we really have today. Yeah, so uh, 
I'll keep you guys updated on Twitter and uh, sorry if I'm not answering my DMs or if you guys are texting me or Snapchatting me or anything. It's just been so much, but I'm gonna work on that. Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully I can get uh, more more information on Lonnie and uh, I do text Wanda a lot, but I'm not trying to push them just to give you guys more information. I really yeah. want them to come to me or anything them. that we're doing. Yeah, like she said, respect them and everything that they have going on. If you guys do want to say anything to them or have any prayers or anything, you can comment on my you can comment on my tweet or you can DM me and I'll make sure I get forwarded to them or Or you could just hit them up on their own Twitter. Well, I was about to say that right now. <laughs> you could have started with that. Or yes, they do have their own Twitters. Um like we said, they are grandmas and a grandpa, and I don't know how savvy they are with understanding and responding to their DMs or anything, but I do know that they will <laughs> see it. So, good luck. Yeah. Thank you for watching, and have a good day. Stay inside. Stay safe.